we will start with the unit test of the UI dot test dot TS. So let's copy. And let's start simply by verifying that the document is is truthy test. Otherwise nothing will work here. Document exists. Okay, so expect document to be truthy. Okay, npm test test main yeah. should be true. And let's maybe start with falsy so it will fail and then we will change it. Falsy. Okay. Falsy failing, and let's make it truthy. Okay. Okay, so this is okay. Let's run the application. So npm run dev, and you see that we have here h1 with this text. So Let's verify that, that we, we can test for it. So I will do a test and it will not work and then we will fix it. Okay, so test h1 with, with text is in the DOM. Okay, let's test this and it will not work and then we will fix it. So what I want to do is we have here only a one h1. So const h1 lm this should be equal to document dot query selector h1 and first this this should not be null right Sh should be truthy because it exists right we see it so it will not work but let's see that it will not work expect h1 lm to be truthy we must have this element but we will not okay so h a and you see this this is failing expected null we we expected truthy but we got null so why is it simple the fact that i'm running here npn run dev has no meaning for the test for the test i must render this application so and i need i want to render it before every test so first i need to do before each and and let's see what i'm doing what i'm doing in in index.html is um, I'm calling main.ts right and in main.ts what am I doing I'm calling create DOM and register handler so I simply need to call this and one more thing this create DOM is expecting the application to have the app element an element with app ID so first we need to create it because and because it exists on the index.html we don't have the index.html so we need to create this element so we want to do the following document dot body dot inner html we want to start with this so before each test this will be created and now i have element with id up and now i can call these two guy okay because again they assume create dom assume let's import it and let's import this and if we go inside create dom you will see that that he is expecting this element with app id to exist and he put inside all this information so now it should work so h a okay it's working and i want to show you that it has nothing to do with this so i can remove it I can remove it also from here, so close it. H, A, it has nothing to do with this, but if I will not create this, it will not work, okay? So null, right? Because the body is null, nothing is inside. So if I change it, now it is okay. Okay, so after I have verified that it is truthy, I, I want to, to see that the inner text is equal to this. So 
dot inner text equal to be this one. And what he's saying, he's saying the following, he's saying you are invoking query selector and query selector might find the element and it might not. So you cannot access inner text with null. So what I'm saying to him, I'm promising you that it is okay. So this, this, is, this is not null. When, when I'm putting this sign, it will convince him that it will not be null and it will not work. You will see that it will not work because there is some bug in, in JS DOM. So I just want to show you that it's not working. So H A, okay, because he thinks that it is undefined. So I'm going to use another property text contact and this is working in JS DOM. Okay, so now you see this okay. If I'm changing here, it will not work. Okay, so I revert it back. 